Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content for groups such as Twice, Seventeen, Red Velvet, Black Pink, NCT, Super M, Shiny, AT, Stray Kids, and so much more along with K-dramas, concerts, and other variety shows. Hey guys, Angie, and today we have O Jam Bam Hop. I still don't know how to pronounce this, um, but it has TVXQ, their third Korean album? Oh. Yep, this is their third Korean album. We did their second Korean, Korean album probably like five days ago. Um, I just want to make sure we get through these because it is December. Um, one, because I actually really like the last album. This is 2006. Wow, I was so off on the other one. Um, so I was just like, let me just do the next one as soon as possible because I really like the previous one. Uh, I was actually just listening to it earlier, but looking forward to it. Let's hop into the video. Every day we struggle because of second gen groups having square music videos. And every day you just had to deal with it because <laughs> the lyric videos, I want them to fit most of the videos and most of the videos are lyric videos. So we just got to deal with this, this border. This is gorgeous. So obviously we've heard the song, but we haven't seen this video, so middle school. Ooh, okay, okay. See you. Oh. I actually heard this song a couple times because of the concert too. Such a cool performance. Okay, this video is amazing. Dude, this video is awesome. I love the settings. It's rare you see like a like a busy setting in the street. Oh, the hair is just. We just stuck okay. <laughs> it. Is this Japan? But let me see the words. I'm so used to the Japanese version. But the Korean that would be all for wood. Wow, this is a very dark music video. Especially like with current times right now. And like disgusting things happening in the world. It's very sadly fitted. God, this dance break is one of my favorite dance breaks from them. I mean, we've only seen... No, we've seen actually a few dance breaks from them, actually. But I think this one's my favorite. And, like, obviously, the Rising Sun bridge is a phenomenal top tier. Nothing competes with her. She's queen. But this one's definitely one. Mm-hmm. 
A lot of religious elements in here. I'm not too shocked, but... I'm wondering, are they religious? I can see, like, Max. I don't know why I can't see Jeju being religious, though. God, the hair. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> Ugh, I've seen too much. I'm almost getting immune to it. <laughs> this is probably one of my favorite music videos from them, even though it's two pixels. But I just like it kind of fits the song. And there's like an actual like deep meaning to it. And it's a very important messaging. Ooh! <laughs> Like, I like uh, music videos with, like, purpose. <laughs> and that kind of, like, fit the song, the messaging. Ooh, that's a really cool way of... Ooh! Oh, okay, this video, this video is gorgeous. I really wish... Wait, do they? Have they? Obviously, we have this one because of the lyric video, but... Is it on the SM channel in a... Oh, Jung Ban Hop. I want to see if it's remastered. <gasps> oh, guys, we may have to. Okay, I, I'm just curious what it looks like. Oh, it's not remastered. Dang it. It looks better quality, though. Eh, no, it's not really that much better quality. It's like, what, 7? Oh, not even 7 times. Okay. This one's. Yeah, they're the same. For some reason, they just look better. That was beautiful. We haven't heard this song, right? We've heard, um, what's the song? Not Umbrella. Balloon? Balloon. And then, I think there was one more. Oh, I'll be there. We've heard I'd probably be there. So we've heard three songs. Well, we already listened to one just now, but two more. This picture doesn't so cool. <laughs> I don't know why, but I thought we heard this, but I think it's just because the title is similar to uh, Super Dream. Okay, I see why I, I thought I heard this. It, it's very similar to, yeah, Super Juniors. Even like the sound of it a bit, like the wide. Super Junior, right? They have a song called Miracle. Which I think came out around this time. Or is it Miracle? a pretty sad album. Oh, 
it also reminds me of their is their debut song hug that's their debut right it reminds me of hug a little bit just like the the vocals I love how you... Sorry, we have to give a full... Just a minute. I don't know, I love what he delivered that. I'll say this is one of those songs where I probably won't listen to it a lot if I'm being honest it's just you know because they have other songs in that realm that I kind of prefer but I also wouldn't skip it at least I just wouldn't go for it but it, I don't think I have any songs from them in general actually that I wanted to skip if, if, if so far if they ever come on I do listen to them so I would say that one's like like, I, I feel like it reminds me a little bit of Hug, but I like Hug more. Dang. No names? We about to struggle in the streets. That's okay. We're just gonna, you know, vibe. Sweetie, just like we don't need a man to complete us, you don't need a girl to complete you. Oh, okay, <laughs> it's, it's kind of vibe though, it's kind of vibe. This is very army. Like full on. Mm -hmm. Okay, as that is, I, the lyrics are cute. I just feel a bit sad if anyone thinks someone completes them. Even though I like, understand the consensus is just as a way to express your love, like you complete me. Like that's a cute phrasing, but it, it is, there's like sad underlying tones to that. But it's kind of a, a common phrasing. This is a vibe. It's very simple. Just kind of them going off on the, the simple instrumental. I, I want to say that's Junsu, but it could be Max. But I'm, I'm going with Junsu. Let's see. Yeah, you know, this might be my favorite. Oh, is it? Is this Junsu and Jaejun? Someone. It's always the songs where I'm desperate to know who does the part. 
where there's like no names, which is no one's fault. It, 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 we we're in a throwback right now. Like we can't be mad. People haven't done their videos for a group that's like fifteen, actually twenty years old. <laughs> Jeez, they're old. <laughs> they're old. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm go with my gut. I think that's Junsu. And JJ is also doing the other notes. But I wouldn't be shocked if it was Max. That feels like Junsu. I'm going with Junsu. We're going here. We're buzzing in. Because he'll always just be doing these little runs. I always see him in the background going. Oh, we love the layering. We love the layering. This is one of my favorite songs from them. Do. Calm. Literally, it was Rendu. <laughs> wow, I'm exhausted for him. That was great. Yo, you know how to look in. Whoa, I'm sorry. I was disrespecting the mansion, so he kind of killed this look. Okay, okay, this is why. That's why. I was like, why is Max look so old here? <laughs> Me never doubting Junsu because he always looks the same, but Max looks older. That's because he said recent pictures, more recent. See, Max does that always, so I'm like, it, it could have been him. This is my favorite album. Mm -hmm. Guys, we have a lot of good songs this album. Because I already know I like uh, I'll Be There. The words to be desired, but. Uh, Let's, let's analyze these. <laughs> I have a lot of songs where I hate the lyrics, but I like the song, so we ain't too mad. Dang, and she's taken. See, I, it gives me ick. It gives me ick, you know? But once again, it's con it was a common trope. It, and it, to this day, people still do that. And uh, they won't. We can forgive things. Okay, okay. Okay, see, see, he accepts. He understands. You're off limits. Okay. Oh, okay. We love that. Okay. See, I think I missed that first line. In love, there's no master or sight. We stand. I mean, unless you like that, you know. As long as it's consensual. But, like, you know. This is such a good song. <laughs> Ooh. It kind of changed a bit. Ooh, we made a switch up. Dang, y'all are nasty for that. If you don't like your girlfriend, don't be with her. <laughs> it's alright. They're, they're immature here. They're like 18. I forgot. <laughs> So I don't think they wrote these songs. <laughs> they wrote... Well, they did partake in some. But I don't know if they did in this album. They probably did. We'll forget. <laughs> Cause it's, it could have been worse. This is definitely gonna be... Most replayed. No, no, like, facts. This song is a very big mess.
<laughs> the song is such a mess. But like I said, to this day, people make songs like that, and you can't really be a hypocrite about it. Like, <laughs> so you've heard this song. I think I'll take like a brief pause to take my dog out after the song because it's been a couple hours. Yeah, they reference praying a lot. Actually, let me see if... Y'all converted him to Christianity. Jaijun was an atheist. Y'all did that to him. I'm just kidding, it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know how reliable this is though. You know, you know, you know, you know he's Christian. He's a Christian. How are we accurate is this? Are you Christian? Hmm? Oh, Max is. He's in. He is. Buddhist. Uh, interesting. Okay. This one actually reminds me a bit of what was the first, the second song, the first new song. You're my miracle. I think I like this one more. I like a good build up. Like I love a good uh, big end. Yeah, so I guess J. Jim was an atheist and became Christian. Usually it's the other way around. <laughs> in case you're new, I, um, I guess I'm an atheist. I don't believe in God. I'm not mad when idols do. It's more like when they aren't Christian, it kind of intrigues me more. <laughs> so the fact he switched, it's, it's cool, it's cool. Just, I, I felt connected and then... Now we're disconnected once more, but it's okay. Still love you. A lot of my friends were Christian and stuff, so and we vibed, so we also all were gay. <laughs> Which is funny. This is a cute love song. Okay. Should we do one more? We'll squeeze one more in before I take my dog out.
어떤 느낌일까요 그대의 흔적 지운 채 살아가는 것 Do you try this one? It seems like it's not you to write. Is there a Ocean Song Hub writing credits? No, okay. Oh god, he may have written this one. Because it just reminds me of the ones he has that we've listened to. But, um. Dude, this feels like angelic. So is this in my funeral song? As dark as that sounds? There's nothing beautiful about this. Oh, this sounds gorgeous. Ooh. Oh, wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. And this is a song where I definitely I would cry at the song. <laughs> it feels so bitter and sweet at the same time. Oh, I love the way his voice shakes. Kenzie worked on this music. Kenzie came through. Queen. Kenzie worked on this music, I just saw the, the music credit. And I think it's like the only song here. Oh, Phantom. Which the title alone sounds like a pop. Kenzie always be working on the songs that make me want to shed tears. She always does. I'm glad I have the credits here. I, I, I don't think I did this for the other album, but I was just really curious about this one. This is my favorite song. This is my favorite song. The song's gorgeous. Wow, okay. This is actually a perfect place to pause real quick. Um, let me go take the puppy out, and I'll be right back. Alright. Wait. Oh, okay. I was like, please. We just got back from taking the dog out. We can't be all broken right now. Story has be just begun. The story's just begun. Reminds me of a, the party's just begun by two girls for some reason. Oh, interesting instrumental. Sounds like a camera or something. I don't know. Okay. 
Oh, weird. Okay, okay. I feel like they were kind of ahead of the game, weren't they? I feel like the blueprint for some of this instrumentals we having in SM. I like that part. Like that part. This will be the top favorite too. This probably is going to end up being my favorite album. Oh, it kind of built up a bit. Oh, okay. I feel like this song just kind of lets you linger in thought. And I feel like all the empty spaces are like for you to fill as your max that sound. Like the, the little empty parts that would usually annoy me. I feel like it's very purposeful. That felt- that made me feel all weird inside. <laughs> okay, that was a very beautiful song. On and on. I thought I heard this one for some reason, but I think that there's just another song with a similar title, and I probably was thinking that one. Ooh. They said we're getting emotional at the end here. This is like their love album. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. They're in love this album. They're in love. Oh, 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 oh,
주여 내 사랑을 고소 내놓 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 우리 사랑이 변치 않기를 Yeah, there's something going on. Before one, so also, I feel like the most religious album. Once again, I'm totally fine with that. Just, I, I, I just feel like it's more referenced in this one for some reason. Or maybe I'm just noticing it more on this one. This, this album's like love and hope. <laughs> It's it's like a there was a cheesy home decoration thing where it's like peace, love, and happiness, or whatever, and hope. What was that? Was that a high note or was that like what was that noise? Was, oh, did someone just hit a note? That was crazy if it was. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, this one kind of felt. I don't know, there's something very nostalgic about this song. <laughs> this album feels the most nostalgic. The most feel good. I think it's reminding me a lot of like, <laughs> just to be remember sorry. <laughs> I don't know why, it just does. Cause Justin Bieber has like a, a lot of uh, like he's religious and he has like a lot of songs. Even when he was like a baby. Like a down to earth, um, like my world era, where it was like down to earth. Um, that pray song, um, like it, it just kind of reminds me of that feeling that, it, like, when I was little, those songs gave me. Now it's more like just nostalgia. Like, I like to listen to them just to feel nostalgic. Um, where is the other? I'm blanking so hard. Yeah, like down to earth. First, not first dance, uh, it's first dance what I'm thinking of. No chaperone. Yeah, like that feeling, that, that song, first dance. Overboard, uh, overboard, personally I prefer the Miley one. Um, Never Let You Go, like You Smile. Like those songs, That Should Be Me, those songs just made me feel all giddy and cute inside. Like, oh, when everything was so dramatic. And I feel like this is reminding me of that. That album came out like what, 2009? 2009, yeah. So this is before that, you know, but it has that feeling. This is the one I thought I would like, so let's see. Because Kenzie. To be fair, Kenzie's made songs I didn't like, so <laughs> it's not always going to be a hit, but let's see. This is not what I thought it would sound like, because it's called Phantom. <laughs> My mind is going to wavy, so maybe that's why. You know it looks like a dork. <laughs> Who did that to his hair? This is not what I thought it was going to sound like, I'm kind of thrown off. They're in their sad boy puppy love era, so heavily. The song is either like, I'm so deeply in love with you, or like, I am so sad because I'm, I'm in love with you and I can't be with you. <laughs> you can cry too, so cry and sell things. Is it like a phantom of your life? Like a phantom of your pitiful old self. <laughs> Wait, what's the phantom in here? What a 
weird song for the title. A bunch of words there I do not wait what what, what does this mean? <laughs> what? Follow the demon's rule. Twenty to the first small new shot. How I take it right. Diagramma della ver what potion are we okay. <laughs> it's gonna bother me if I don't know what this means. <laughs> Diagramma? Is this a like an what? Diagramma? Della Verita? What is that? Oh, okay. Galileo's Diagramma Della. <laughs> I'm so uneducated. Oh, uh, is mentioned in Don Brown's Angels and Demons. I told you, there's a lot of religious stuff in this album. It feels like, uh, conceptual almost. Like, it's like the, the whole- Because if you even look at, like, the first music video, it, it's, it's not very evident there, but, like, there's, like, they were, like, zooming in on crosses and stuff. Very interesting. I wonder if it was all on purpose or just- Wait, one, two, thalatha. That sounds something like in, that's in the Bible. Thala, the It was Arabic. What? Oh no, maybe it's not. <laughs> well, there's an Arabic word. And there's also a, a, a TV show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this 13-year-old uh, girl's best friend growing up in a mixed neighborhood where Jews, Arabs, and refugees from Africa live side by side. Well. Well. <laughs> Okay, um, anyways. <laughs> I still don't know what I was trying to say, but they mentioned demon, and then that is like Galil something about Galileo angel and demons, I don't know. So it's something like that. <laughs> like good and bad, I guess. Real real itself little by little. This one is the most interesting lyric wise. Just because of that one part where I was confused. <laughs> Bop. I like that song. Is it my favorite song? No. But it was very interesting. <laughs> they know what I want. It's literally like they're giving me everything no one else is giving me in K-pop right now, so I feel very spoken to. Because I, I listen to these type of songs all the time in English, but like, I don't have a lot of it in K-pop, so it's, it's kind of like they're giving me what I want. I mean, Super Junior also provide this for me, so, but I like I can also have DVXQ because they give me a different sound too. This is very gospel. <laughs> oh. curious about 
the duo of TVXQ, like the duo, because their recent comeback is reminiscent to me of their old title tracks. But I'm wondering about the B-sides and how like going from five to two, how it affected their music going forward. We're not really anywhere near close to that, so we have a while to go, but I'm just so curious. <laughs> That's why I don't, I don't know if I want to listen to the new album yet. I don't know. I'm conflicted. I'm like, I'm curious. And then I'm also like, do I? I don't know. <laughs> like, do I just want to wait? I Pride in your eyes? What? Don't know if that translated right. Lyrically, this is the most simple one. Mm. Oh. Trying to kind of going off on this one. Okay. Also, this was very short, actually, compared to their other ballad like songs i don't know this one's kind of just they were kind of just going off especially in the beginning where it kind of sound like gospel music what was it Oops. like that harmonizing there i don't know i'm only really like i don't I don't like listen to gospel music really, but a lot of shows I watch will occasionally have like like a glee and um. I like Kiki Palmer. She's my wifey, and I went and saw the Joyful Noise, and I really liked the, like her singing that, and then <laughs> uh, Let It Shine from a Disney Channel. <laughs> love that movie and uh coco jones coco jones is that her name like there was some gospel music i don't know like like I, i'm i'm like kind of into the vibe of it and i i kind of like more when it's like this where it's not as obvious um even though that's not really gospel per se it, it just kind of felt like it um this picture is adorable <laughs> I remember this music video <laughs> so vividly for the reason. Pennywise attacks. <laughs> They're so innocent in this song. Red balloons symbolize Pennywise. It's like, what do you mean? This has two million views. What what? No, they're harmonizing us. We, we've been new. There's no competition. This is two million views. Y'all can't be doubting me. Wait, did we not watch the... Wait, wait, did we not watch the... Wait, sorry. <laughs> did we not watch... This music video? Yeah, we did, right? Yeah, we did. But, as okay. Hey, it looked remastered. Because of the thumbnail. I, I thought it was remastered for me. And I was like, wait, we gotta check that out. It's not. <laughs> I was very curious.
Well, this is the weirdest song though, because I feel like every song we've heard besides one or two is nothing like this song so far. But then again, Girl Generation also has a song similar to this that felt kind of out of place. But I really like it. Uh, honey? Was it Honey? I like the Girl Generation song more, but there's something wholesome about this song that I've occasionally listened to. It. I feel like uh, the one I'm thinking about for Girl Generation has more to it, where this one's more repetitive. But like, there's time and place, and sometimes I'm like, you know what? I want a cute little song. La 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 la. La 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 la. Yeah, it, it, the lyrics and the meaning of it fits the song so well. I'm not in the like, oh, I want to cry aspect yet. But I can see myself crying to this one day. I think this one doesn't have lyrics. Let's see. If it, no, it doesn't. Okay, so let me see if I can find the lyrics. T V X Q Y L I lyrics in English. It's like a on a website or something. Yep, found it. I'm, I'm assuming this is it. Like maybe this one's just the. Korean subtitle. Yeah, I feel like there's almost a story with this album. <laughs> Over here, Okay, yeah, look at the guitar, guitar, let's go.
Okay. Okay, I want to know, like, is this a favorite album amongst the fandom? Because, like, to me, I think it's the best album so far. And now, li listen, we have the sad reality that Five in the Black isn't on Spotify. And that's an automatic deduction against it. It's not my fault. Blame the people producing the music that won't let them be on Spotify, the company or whatever. <sighs> Blame them. Five in the Black could, in theory, be a better album. But it not being on Spotify kind of just makes me a little petty. And doesn't allow a lot of replay value because I have to put in effort to find songs. Um, now the concert for Five in the Black allowed me to once again enjoy those songs and i have to admit five in the black might be better but as of now we have white lie you only love on and on the story's just begun remember remembers top tier um get me some get me some come on now that's a bop hey girl like we're the o song oh dumb the the stuff the, the title of the album like we're already winning those are my favorite songs and that's like a lot so i think this one's my favorite album so far i did like the previous album the second one we did i just think my, my favorite songs on this album surpass like a lot of the other favorite songs on the other albums by a long shot so i think even if like maybe the other album might have more songs i love more in general my favorites on here are definitely like number one so definitely listening to this one a lot i don't know how to describe it but it also reminds me just it gives me winter vibes so um but that is it for this video let me know your favorites and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye.